So the first thing you want to do is go over to the internet and search for whatever you like. In my case, I've just searched for car uh, and then you're going to go to tools and then sort by here, creative commons license. Now you can use commercial and other licenses, but usually you have to pay for those images. So uh, go with the creative commons license. And if you're going to use it, make sure that you link uh, the website or give them credit in the description of your build on Steam. That's the proper way to do it well and proper and i found this image here that i like so i'm going to right click on it open image in new tab uh, you'll get, then get this image pop up in the full screen you're going to right click and press save image as once you're here you're going to press save you don't particularly need to give it a name but you can if you like we're going to be deleting this shortly anyway so next you're going to close everything down and you're going to go to a new tab and you're going to go to this website called Tajin's Stormworks Toolbox. It's available at this link, which will be in the description, as well as on screen. It's rising.at slash stormworks slash paint dot php. You're gonna click choose file. Then you're gonna go to show all files if you have Opera, or it'll just open this anyway if you're on another browser. I just like Opera because it's handy. And then go to downloads. I already have this downloaded, but the image we want is here. We're going to double click on it and that will put the name just here. You can click on this if you want to remove it or change it. You can turn on glow if you like. That basically enhances the image. So just to show you what that looks like, if I go to my photo editing software and we just say open this image, uh, which I have on to hand. So this is what it looks like without glow and with glow, it'll look a bit more like that. So it pops a little bit more so you can see it a little bit more, which in Stormworks you don't always do because the lighting is very scuffed. Uh, now this was kind of an important one. So one thing I find quite useful to get the best quality image into Stoneworks, you don't have to do this, you can put whatever size you like, but I think if you hover over the image and then you can see it says dimensions 1945 by 1292, that's a really strange dimensions, but anyway, we're going to grab the first number out of there, which is 1945. We're going to pop that into there. Now, because it's Stormworks, we don't want an image this big because that's that's like really big. If I just do here, 1945 divided by 4 equals quite a high number, I can imagine. That's 486 meters long in game. So we don't want it that big. So we're going to just knock the last number off to make it 194 in this case. And then we're going to simply press upload. Once you've done that, you'll see at the top of your screen, it'll say downloading generated.xml. Uh, well, you're going to just wait for that to download. And while that's happening, let's go and find our Stormworks path. To do this, we're going to go press the Windows key on your keyboard. We're going to get percent, which is used by pressing shift and five at the same time. App data without a space and then another percent and then press on enter. You'll get this menu popping up here. You want to scroll all the way down and find Stormworks. When you're here, double click, then go to data and then go to vehicles. And once you're here, this is what it should look like, but instead with all your vehicles. You can now see on our web browser, the little dot indicates it's downloaded. So we're going to go over here. We're going to go to our downloads. Now, if you can't open two of these, there's a simple way to open two. I'll just close it down and show you. Instead of just like going between files and copying, pasting, right click on the files, press on downloads. And there you go. You get another copy of your file explorer open, which is really handy. Uh, if you go here to generate it, you can see it's in downloads and simply drag it into the vehicles now if you've been here before it will say the destination already has a file named generated.xml that's okay as long as you've already used the previous copy you've had installed and you don't need it anymore you can press replace if not you can either rename or you can use it and then go back and uh, and use the new one so i'm going to press replace because i don't need the old version so replace the file and this little menu pops up doesn't take long and there you go you're sorted you can close all of this down now we don't need any of this stuff and open Stormworks. Okay, and we're in Stormworks. We're going to simply load any map we like. It doesn't matter because this is in your files. It will read from your files on any map. So I'm going to load my snow test map. And once we're here, we're going to simply go to any workbench we like. You can also use the mission editor for this, but it's probably simpler if I show you in the workbench. So once you're here, press file load, and then you can probably see straight away it'll say generated. It won't have a picture because uh, there's, I believe, three files Stormworks reads from for vehicles. You only need one for it to work, which is what the website gives you. Uh, and it also generates one once you load it anyway. So this is why we don't really get an image. There's not a lot of point in doing that. 
Uh, but open it up, it might take a second or two to load because depending on the size of the image, sometimes they're quite big. As you can see, the game is quite stuttery right now because I got the image really big. The simple solution, if you don't want an image like this big, you can see it is actually an image I can edit and stuff. Uh, but if you don't want an image this big, simply instead of 194, then you go with 19. Or something that can be uh, t like divided by, so like a multiple. So say if the number was 10, you wanted it to go smaller than 10, you would go with 5 because 5 times 2 is 10. You want to go with a number that, that fits into it basically. Uh, but there you go, that's how you get images in. If you want to copy this into your other vehicle, so say you have a ship you want to put say the headlight on, then we're going to scroll into the headlight where we want to get. We're going to click on this selection grid up here. Uh, also, another thing that will really help if you have a lot of paintable signs, click this button here. Uh, it just turns off all these grids. It's so much more useful. Seriously, just do it. Uh, and then go to, like I say, go to the selection grid. You want to just select the headlight with control and shift. You can do it with these little movers, but it's a lot easier if you just down, hold down shift and click where you want to select and it will uh, it will expand the box for you. I've got the headlight now, I'm going to press on cut. You can also press copy, but I prefer to use cut because with copy, it does copy all of the physical things, but it does not copy logic. Cut does copy logic. So if you have any logic, it's always useful to use the cut tool. And if you cut, remember you can always load up the previous version. You don't have to save after you've made the cut. So you could just load generated back up. But once we've got here, uh, we're going to just turn off this selection grid here. It will save the data, don't worry. We're going to just turn it off because it does save some frames in your game. We're going to go over to load and let's find a vehicle we want to load on here. Let's say we want to load. I'll try to find something nice and small so it doesn't use too much of our frame rate. So we'll go with the Mark 8. This is a, a boat I built not too long ago. We're going to click on the selection grid again and you can see it will pop back up and you can see once we open the selection grid it does pop back into our workbench simply drag it around to where you want it simply enough i'm just going to stick it onto the deck so we're going to drag it into the deck uh like so there we go you can see it's now in the deck i'm going to just line it up and when you're here press paste and you can now press clear content that just saves some frames for you and then go to the merge tool next to select tool uh, click on the new face and then click on your boat and you can see it now is all merged into one and there you go that's basically it that's how you get images into stormworks i hope you found this video useful if you did make sure to click the subscribe button and if you're feeling extra generous i also have a patreon which you can support me through that would be really greatly appreciated so thank you guys for watching and i hope to see you in the coming videos See you later.